as we patiently anticipate Wednesday nights when we get to see the consequences to Zach busting up in the salon and demanding this DNA test. But what about Karen's mama? What's good, y'all? It's your good sister, Erica Bain, coming to you right here on Erica Bain TV with another sister's video. And in this one, we're going to talk about Miss Lisa. And does she have to step in again? If you're new here, turn on that bell notification and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of my sister's content and conversations. We have a lot of them. I drop new videos every single day right here on Erica Payne TV because I got you. We're having all of the conversations that you are looking to have as a huge sister's fan. We keep the conversation going in between episodes and we also have the live after show and podcast, Our Sister's Keeper, where we discuss new episodes. 30 minutes after they premiere so join me right here on Wednesday nights for that as well but without further ado let's go ahead and talk about Miss Lisa because we already got to see her intercept Zach once when he initially showed up at the salon he showed up with flowers and while he was rehearsing what he wanted to say and it was still giving he wanted to, to request this DNA test even though part of me still feels like that's a cop out and you basically are hiding from the fact that you wanted to cheer this woman on tell her that you're proud of her and you just leaning into this messy part because that's what's most comfortable to you unfortunately y'all zach is comfortable in chaos drama and pettiness which is why he tends to default to those things but i digress Miss Lisa jumps into his car and then has a really good conversation with him about why is he there. He can he can support her. He can congratulate her by sending her a simple text message. Bringing flowers is giving mixed signals. And while I didn't fully agree, I completely understood and I respected him leaving and listening to Miss Lisa in doing so. Respecting Karen's space, giving her this day, not making it complicated or weird, um, but still having seemingly good intentions, even though him adding the whole like one ask for the damn DNA test at this particular time sullies that. And I don't know how many how many times I have to say it, but y'all, please stop commenting if you're one of these people who are watching all my videos, can't stand my damn takes, but you're watching all my videos, and you want to argue me down about Zach deserves to have a DNA test. I am not arguing that he does not need a DNA test. When I do say that, I say that he don't need it right now because the biggest issue about this entire setup is not that he is asking to find out paternity, to have concrete proof with his own DNA being submitted and judged against the DNA that's swirling around in her belly. The biggest issue is the timing, the lack of tact, the lack of couth, the pettiness, the selfishness, the narcissism. That is a problem coming into someone's grand opening and demanding of them to do this thing that can be done on any other day of the week. And you didn't say boo about in the last three months and you were wholeheartedly convinced for the last three months that this was your child. Yeah, that is a problem. Yeah, that is going to get tacked on your bill. Yeah, that's going to have Erica on your ass. Point blank, period. But you were able to listen to watch sage advice prior to so you don't go into the salon, but then you make it back to your house and then you go down to the airport and now Fatima and Danny then put this battery in your back and now here you are. And I didn't catch this at first, but Miss Lisa is in the back um, coming out and we're going to see her in the scene. So my question is. Is she going to step up and say something to Zach or mention that she already had a conversation and why didn't he stay away after she already told him to go away? Like, it's very interesting to me the layers that could play out in this actual scene. And as I sat down and thought about it, which I would love for y'all to tell me, do you think that Miss Lisa is going to step in again? Because while I feel like the easy answer and the, the, hmm, the most common thing would be, yeah, she's going to step in. I don't necessarily know if she is. We have multiple factors at play. We have Pam here. We have Trey here. And then also Karen sticking up for herself. So I think amongst 
you know, Trey stepping up and getting Zach the back back. Pam probably going to have some smart things to say. I don't necessarily know if Miss Lisa is going to insert herself. However, as I was thinking about that, I was like, I wonder, would Miss Lisa call Zach after the fact? Would Miss Lisa meet up with Zach after the fact? Like, after they actually get him out of the salon, would she hit him up to have a conversation about how inappropriate it is for him to pull that type of stunt and on this particular day when it comes to Karen? I would totally be here for it. Like, I think with Miss Lisa and Zach having the relationship that they had during uh, his relationship with Karen and him feeling like she's a mother figure, I think that he kind of actually needs it. If, if he was to get advice from anybody, it doesn't need to be Danny because Danny clearly has a chip on her shoulder and a grudge to bear and is fuming from the jealousy that's harbored in her damn heart for Karen. And then Fatima is um, rightfully so, but a little bit clouded in her judgment based off of her feelings around it. She is really having to digest the fact that Karen is going to have one of Zach's children before her. And I can understand if that's a blow to the ego. I can understand if that deeply hurts. So while, you know, Fatima loves him down and all of that, it's not the best advice for you to co-sign him doing this at this particular time. So clearly you outside your damn mind as well. So Miss Lisa might be the one that Zach actually needs to have a conversation with. But for the sake of this video, I don't actually think we're going to see her step up in this particular moment. I think that if she does wind up having a deeper conversation with Zach, it might be something that plays out before he goes to get the DNA. Or Miss Lisa might wind up playing mediator between the two. Like depending on how volatile this gets, she could be a uh, mediator similar to how she was with the whole letter situation um, and coordinating Zach to go and give his DNA. And you know that Karen ends up back at the uh, hospital and it's coming pretty soon y'all so by episode eight we're going to get the dna results i did drop my episode eight synopsis breakdown because they did release that if you want to read any of the synopses as they become available there on ericavane.com i have them linked in the description box down below for you to read on your own as well as new videos for every single synopsis as they release i will link the episode eight synopsis so that you can go ahead and check it out but let me know like i said in the comment section do you think miss lisa is going to step in if she does step in what y'all think she gonna say go ahead and give me a little give me a little bit miss lisa dialogue just channel her for a minute and get zach together or not if you don't think that she would it's your good sis you love to talk tv with i appreciate you watching this video and the episode eight synopsis breakdown is right here so go ahead and click it after you drop your comment